Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful red snowy flowers earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you could share the beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. And there is a new feature to become a member that you could also check out. Now guys, we're going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads or you could use 10 0 seed beads if you want. These are earring findings in silver color. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Size 10 beading needle scissors and the pliers are not obligatory only if I need to go through the difficult beads I use them. Okay so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first are six thread beads. Okay, and I have six on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through it as I'm always doing in my videos and I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And then I have this beautiful circle of six beads and I go through some of them in this direction. Okay, then I'm going to pick up two white beads and I go back in circle through one of the reds. Okay, this is what I do. Then I go in the following red and I want to repeat this two white beads, go back and just to save time go, go through the following red because in this way you save one movement. Now you are in a position to add two more of this beautiful white beads. Okay. And I'm going to continue doing this until the end. Okay, now I have this and in my next step guys, I'm going through one of the white beads. I take just one red bead and I go through the next two white beads. Then again a red and go through two white beads. A red one, go through two white beads and repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and in my next step I'm going through this red bead. And now I want to pick up seven red beads. Okay, I have my seven here and I'm going in the next red one. Mm -hmm. 
Then again, seven. Okay. And I go in the next red. And I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. And now what I want to do is go through four beads. And when I go through four beads, it means I'm in the middle of these seven beads that I added in my previous row. And I'm going to pick up three white beads and I go back in circle through this bead, the one that's sticking out the most and which is the middle one. Then I will go through two seed beads in this direction. And I'm going to take just one white bead and I skip the one that's after this angle here and I go through the next two like this. Okay. And again, when I go through the next bead, I'm through the middle of the seven beads that I added in my previous row, which happens to be the middle one of these seven. Okay, three. Go like this through the top. Then go through two beads and I'm one beat away from the angle. The inner angle here. I take one and I go here one beat away from the angle and through the next two beads. Just like this. Then I go through this one at the angle and I take three and I go back like this and if I want to save time I will also go through the next two beads so I'm going through three in total just to save time and I pull and now I need one bead and I'm going like this in three beads just to save time. Okay, and I'm half ready with this row. Continue by yourself. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat these steps from here and I'll meet you. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. Now, in my next step, what I want to do is go here like this and exit through the top white bead. Now, I'm going to flip my work and I will go through this white here. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick up three white beads and go here through the central one. Then three more. And go here through this one. Okay. And in this row, guys, it's really easy and really pleasant because I'm going through the top. I'm adding three beads. And I'm going through this white here at the angle. And it is really pleasant and really easy. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay. See you when I'm up to here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next 
is at three red beads here, like this. Then go through three beads here. And when I go through three beads, I'm one bead away from the angle. And here I take one red bead. And I go in the same place, one bead away from the angle. And through the next three beads. And if you can, go in the angle with one movement. If not, do it in three or more movements. Okay, then I take three, go through this angle and through the following three, one bead away from the angle, one red, and here one bead away from the angle and through the next four, including the bead that is sticking out the most, in fact the angle bead and this is guys what I'm going to do until the end continue like this if you forgot how I'm doing it rewind and I will meet you when I finish this row okay see you here Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last red bead from this row. And what I want to do is go in this direction and reach the next red bead. And I want to take three white beads. And I go back in circle through this red one. Now I have this. Then I will repeat the same thing. Go through all of those white beads in this direction. Reach here this central red bead. And take three white beads and go back like this. Now repeat this until the end and meet me here. Okay guys and these are the last three beads that I'm adding in this row. And now what I want to do is start my next row. By the way, uh, the element is really beautiful even like this. So you could finish it like this, like an earring, or you could turn it into a bracelet by adding more elements. And now I'm going to show you another way of finishing this work. I'm going to pick up nine white beads. Okay. Checking again nine and as i'm exiting through this red one i'm going in the next red bead okay then i go in the other direction through the next red from the center to the outside and again i'm going to add nine K9 and as I'm exiting through this red I'm going here in this red and in the next white bead okay then again in the red one and I'm going to continue this adding nine, nine until the end and then I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last nine beads from this row. 
and what I'm going to do next is go again in this direction like this and go here in the central one of this nine that I added okay how I find the central one I count five beads from here or when I'm in the central one I have four from here and four from here okay so as I'm in this one I take one red and I go back in circle through the same white bead like this I have a loop between those beads and I pull then in my next step I go through all of those beads in this direction and again through the red and through five white beads when I go through five I'm exiting in the middle of these nine beads that I had in my previous row that I added I take one and I go back okay guys and I think you get the idea in this row I will be adding one red bead everywhere in these nine white beads that I added okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last red bead from this row and now I will go back through the same bead that I've been through okay and now it's not obligatory but I'll flip my work because I prefer to go in this direction as I'm right-handed it's okay if you want to go in the other direction but in this row I will be adding six beads everywhere okay six as I'm exiting from this top bead I go here through this red one okay then again six and I go here at the top then again six and I go here then again six and I'll let you do this by yourself until the end and when i'm ready i'll meet you here okay and here i am where i'm adding my last six beads from this row and now i'm going to take my earring finding here and I'm going to take one seed bead, my earring finding, and one seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through this middle bead that I have here, that I attached in my previous step. And I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, you could do this several times and make a knot by making a loop going once and twice through the loop I've made, making sure that I'm here between those two bits where I started the knot and pull. And then you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following beads and cut your thread and with this my earring will be ready okay guys and now my snowy red flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because in this way you will be inspired often and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following 
doing my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you could become a member which is a new feature and get some beautiful perks here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.